Welcome to Nat Chat. If you're wondering who I am, it's Barney. Normally, Morella, but Morella's away for a little while, so I'm just taking the reins. Now you'll get used to me pretty quickly. Uh, Nat Chat is just going to diversify a little bit over the next few weeks. As you watch it, you're, uh, you're probably going to be looking at various forms of performance. You're going to be maybe looking at dancers and all sorts of different kinds of people and how they sort of structure their time and how they produce their work. We will, of course, uh, use music and local music as very much a mainstay, uh, as we have a uh, musician on today who I will introduce in a second. But uh, we would also like to sort of do a little bit of research on your behalf. And if anybody, uh, if anybody particularly is in the business of managing various kinds of obscure performers and is able to extract a living for these people, well, uh, we'd love to hear from you, whether it's the website or you can contact Nat Chat, uh, because it is a very interesting aspect of, well, being a performer or, or being anything is there are two sides to it. One is your skill and the other one is your ability to manage yourself and actually kind of make a living from it. So we're sort of going to be exploring that a little bit and I'll be interviewing people or ringing up people and sort of giving you information on that. So. I look forward to that and we hope to be of some help to those people who may be uh, sort of sitting in that one position for a little bit too long. Now in the studio with me today I have Tim McGrath and uh, Tim McGrath is a singer-songwriter and uh, he's just briefly down here from Queensland where he spends some time and he uh, later in the show will be um, actually performing for you but for the moment we're going to be having a bit of a chat to Tim just about well the way that he, for instance, uh, manages his uh, his music. So, hello, hello to you, Tim. Hey, Barney, how you doing? Good, good to be here. Good. Uh, how do we we with a band? It's hard to get uh, momentum, and we're trying to build momentum at the moment with a company called Songbird Films in Noosa, who is about to go into production of a music video for a song called Only Room For Love, which we did on the last CD. He's started looking around for actresses and actors and extras to do the film clip, and he had three different ideas, and he's, we've come up with the idea that we're happy with now, and so that's that's one area that we've been working on. Is this film, is this film clip... Um not actually just going to be of a group of musicians playing, but you're actually going to have a story using yeah, actors. Well, that's, yeah. always, that's always a great thing to do in a film clip. And uh, it actually has only one, one guy out of the musicians that played the music on the CD. Mm. There's the piano player, mm. and he starts off playing a piano. Mm. The lady's dancing, and then the lady can't get her dance move right. So uh, then cuts away to the story and the story is the lady and the lady is uh, married and then the husband leaves her and then she's in the restaurant but then she's upset and then there's other people and they're all sitting around and they're eating and she's upset she bends all the cutlery and then the woman the other woman's there and she looks at her and and they're sort of looking with this sort of jealous sort of you know glares and then then you know, she bends all the cutlery and then the waitress has a go at her and then she has to go home. That Now that is quite an involved uh, narrative or story for a film clip. Uh, that's, mm. that's adventurous, that sounds good. It's of course very easy in making a, uh, in making a clip. Uh, it's all too easy to just take that uh, band playing in the corner mm. kind of approach. Uh, it's, it's good to hear of uh, an idea which is a strong narrative, which is going to require acting, and uh, mm. and it requires not just shooting the action, but actually really trying to piece it together so that it works with the song and that it has um, mm. that the it has guy, some clarity. The guy's done a lot of work on it, and, and mm. he um, he's thought it out for quite a while, and now he's just going in to find the right lady to play the main part of the la the, the lady who then goes home and, and find that she's got a dog and that and the dog wags his tail and mm. then it goes back to the dancer and the and the piano player and they're playing the piano obviously and the woman 
gets it right, and that's it at the end of it. And Tell me, does, um, does the song itself contain that story? The song, for me, contains a double layer. It's obviously got a layer at the top, which is that, but it's also got another layer, like Marvin Gaye, of sort of what's going on. It was the idea sort of behind it of having like a, a you know, uh, a song about love, but it's also like, it's got elements of another lyric that is not there, obviously, but it's a lyric underneath it that you can't, obviously, it's saying there's only room for love, but there's other things going on in the world that nice. are not, it, it, there, is there only enough, for, you know, it's sort of this yep. double-edged Now, have you, have you actually done a, a clip before to a song? This is your first time to uh, do a clip? Songbird Films did a clip for us for Susie Palmer, oh. which was a song about a friend of mine. And just recently, in the last week or so, a lady from Glasgow, an Asian lady who lives in Glasgow who's a soul singer, um, has written to me, and her name's Susie Palmer. Oh, that's fantastic. So, so Susie Palmer like is an arbitrary name that you... No, no, it's a lady in Japan called Susie. Who's oh, a okay. Real rock and roll girl, always oh, in fantastic. leathers and... Real and you party. wrote a song about her, yeah, and yeah, yeah. this film clip has been made. And yeah, he put it on the MySpace, stuff. and this lady's like, you know, oh, you wrote a song about me. Sort of she thing. approached you, she found Yeah, this. yeah, she wrote to us and went, you know, hello, I'm from Glasgow, oh, how are you fantastic. going? And she's a soul backing singer of some kind. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I think it's her own little, her own band, you know, and she, she's like, you know, how are you doing? And well, I wrote back and said, yeah, it's about a girl from, you know, this place and over in Australia and she's like, you know, that was cool, you know. That's, that, that's lovely stuff. And of course, only the internet can bring us these uh, magical moments. These yeah, that's it, of. you know, there's people out there all over the place. You know, like we had one lady from Anchorage wrote to us about the song and went, you know, it's a cold Anchorage night in mm, Alaska and mm. I'm warming my, my bones to the mm. song. That's, <laughs> well, look, that's great, Tim. We are actually going to have to uh, go for a break and uh, when we come back we'll chat a little bit more and then of course we're going to be uh, seeing possibly that clip uh, and uh, also some Susie Palmer clip and uh, also uh, you, you and your guitar. So we look forward to that. Tim McGrath and me Barney here on Nat Chat. <laughs> 